So, um, I've just taken the end cap of the motor out of the cleaning solution. Uh, it's been in there about an hour. And it's um, now pretty clean. So, there was just a little bit of tarnishing left on the, the brushes. And I've just gently um, sort of brushed them with this piece of wet and dry paper just to get the last little piece off. So this is all looking almost like brand new. So we, just, we can now start to reassemble the motor. Um, I was going to use this, uh, where is it? Here it is. I was going to use this replacement um, motor casing um, because the original one here is quite badly corroded actually. Now I've looked at it more closely. But I have noticed on this one that one of the lugs is actually broken off that retains the end cap. So I think what I'm going to do is I shall put this back together using this casing for the purpose of this video um, and just demonstrate hopefully the motor works. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new motor into this car. But at least this demonstrates to you how to repair and clean these motors. Now if you find that these brushes, when you get them out the cleaner, are broken, or even they're, if they're broken when you take the motor apart, um, you're going to be into brush rewinding. Um, now the material that these brushes are, I'm not particularly sure what it is. I'm pretty certain it's not copper, because this copper I've found is too soft. Um, it's a little bit like fuse wire really, but it's not fuse wire, because again, fuse wire is too soft, it has to be quite springy. Um, so that's a bit of a mystery to me at the moment. Um, I, I suspect it's going to be something like tungsten. I did get some tungsten from a fishing shop, but it was too fine, but it had the right properties that it was quite springy and easy to wind. And this is a slightly heavy grade. This looks to me like uh, about point, a point 0.3 millimeter thickness of tungsten, but it's very expensive stuff. And it's probably easier if you find a motor that's got the brushes broken is just to go out and buy a new one. Um, but it's, again, it is possible to actually, if you can find the right material, to, to just replace these brushes if you want to. I'm sure there's people out there who know what it is, but I've just not been able to fathom it out. Anyway, so this end cap is now clean. Um, so to reassemble the motor, We've got to do a similar procedure that we did on the phase one um, electro rocket motor, but this is going to be so much easier because everything's bigger and we can see what we're doing. So we need to get the brushes. At the moment they're sitting in like a V shape here, sitting in front of the hole for the motor spindle. So if we put this back together, it's going to bend them. So we need to get these out of the way. And there's two plastic lugs at the bottom here. And what we need to do is just to bend these, carefully bend the brush this left brush here over the left lug and the right brush here over the right lug and it will retain them so that we can reassemble the motor. I'm not sure if you can see this on this very dodgy camera but this brush here which goes around is now sitting behind this plastic lug here and this brush here is sitting behind this plastic lug here and they actually sit in front of these two holes so when we put the motor back together we can poke our pin through the hole on the outside and it will release the brushes onto the commutator of the motor and unlike the phase one motor on the phase one electro rocket we can actually see this happening so um, we don't have to go into a dark room and listen very carefully it's all it's so much easier so we have our casing here, I say this one has got a broken lug on it, but we'll just, for the purpose of the video, we'll, we'll use it. Um, the uh, the painting, uh, paint colours on these magnets have virtually disappeared, but I can see that, that the green one there is just about visible with some paint left. So always the painted side up on, this, on these uh, electro rockets, like the sizzlers. So the green at the back, red at the front, I did have red paint on it once. So we just need to pop this uh, spindle back into here, so it's that end into there first. And then we have the, uh, always work with the, the top facing upwards, so 
we've got this contact here on the top of the, um, the end block here, which will connect to the uh, the chassis. So that needs to be uppermost. And then we just push this into here like so. Some of these things are just bent. I think another one's going to fall. I think it's, this is why I didn't use this motor block on another because I think these um, these lugs are virtually had it on this one. I think I must have had this motor part on several times. That's why these lugs are just basically had it. So we now need to bend these back to retain the end cap. I'm going to just do this out of shot a minute. It's easier to get hold of it. So here we have our reassembled motor. As I say, one of the lugs is uh, missing on this, but there should be four. I've got three. It'll probably be the right, but I'm just going to... Because this electro rocket is quite rare when I'm going to put in a new motor. So, uh, we now to need to release the brushes onto the commutator. On, <coughs> excuse me, onto the commutator. So we look at the end here, and um, I'm just going to get myself a pin. Okay, I have myself a pin, and I'm going to poke two holes here to release the brushes. That's it. So, all we need now is to put some wheels back on. Uh, I might put some Hot Wheels wheels on actually. And we will give this motor a test. So I've stuck some red line wheels on this motor. And I've just put some light machine oil onto the actual um, axle because it was a bit rough probably from the cleaning and also a squirt of this um, <coughs> electronic cleaning solvent just on the contacts here just to give them a bit of a chance to work so I've got this D-cell here this is the same principle that we used on the phase one motor testing we're just going to orientate the polarity to how it would be in the car so um, we've got the negative contact on here and the positive is on the um, body itself. So I'm just going to connect the positive to the body and the negative to this um, contact here. And here the motor's back working. So that's another motor working, but um, as I said, I'm going to. Because these electro rocket, these phase two electro rockets are quite rare. Uh, I've actually got a replacement motor, which I will show you. So we have this replacement motor, which you can see is exactly the same, just a little bit cleaner. Um, so. We're going to put this in the motor and we'll keep this one as a backup, possibly for Hot Wheels Sizzlers, or I could use it as a conversion for um, Matchport Scorpions. So we're going to put that motor in, but at least now I've shown you uh, how to um, take apart these motors, clean them up, um, 
and put them back together and show you how that they can they usually do actually come back to life and if you can find one of these phase 2 electro rockets they um, you see they're a lot easier to fix anyway we've got to um, fish out our um, chassis body now so um, and then we'll put it all back together <laughs> 